What's up all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and it is time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves because we're going to be talking about our monthly budget meeting for April. Let's get started. Welcome back everybody. Before getting started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We put out videos every day and if you enjoy the content that we put on this channel, please don't forget to share with people. Spread the word. Let everybody know about our channel. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say before getting started is, uh, hey, we got stickers now and hoodies and t-shirts, hats, mugs, uh, can't remember what else but it's on our spread shop that link is in the description of this video if you want to go check that out and support the channel that way we're also on patreon and thank you to our existing patrons for making videos like this possible seriously i couldn't do this stuff without you all so we are going to be talking about the month of april we have four weeks this month so not too bad honestly it's it's not that bad at all compared to the previous couple of months so it's a little, uh, little bit of a breather. The other thing to keep in mind, though, is that the dates are always subject to change. As a matter of fact, I see a couple of books here that were supposed to be released last month and are now slipping into this month. So more than likely, maybe one or two books will slip into May. I'm almost sure that they will. And the other thing I need to mention is that some of you all have left comments in the videos about how, hey, I've already bought this book. Why is it coming out later? The dates I'm using here are for the direct market and that's book market and direct market are the same for uh, DC Comics. Some cases, it's really strange, the book market gets the uh, books before the direct market and such was the case um, in a book here that I'm gonna be talking about in the next upcoming, I think it's in the third week that it's scheduled to come out. Um, the other thing is I will be doing a separate video for my top 10 must buys, essential buys that I do every month. So let's go ahead and get started with the week of April 7th. We kick off the month with Marvel Comics and we are talking about the Defenders. Now this one has two direct market covers and one standard edition cover. This is the standard edition cover and it's a beautiful piece. Uh, but uh, here are your two direct market covers and this collects the first 19 issues of the Defenders as well as their first meeting. Very proud of us for letting Marvel know uh, in the hopes that they added those books in there, and they sure did. And I've done an overview on the channel on this omnibus if you want to check that out. Another book that we're getting a new, uh, well, an, an epic collection is getting a new printing, and that is the Marvel 2-in-1 epic collection. And this collects issues 1 through 19 of the Marvel 2 and 1, as well as the Marvel feature 11 through 12, and Marvel team up number 47. So this is a new printing. I'm so happy they're continuing this, but this is Spider-Girl, the complete collection, and this collects issues 33 through 50. This is the third complete collection. I'm so happy they're continuing that series. Star Wars Volume 2 is coming out, Operation Starlight, continuing the, this is, I think, after the Empire Strikes Back era of Star Wars, written by Charles Soule, and Warhammer 40K. This, I want to say, is the five-issue miniseries written by Kieran Gillen. And yes, it is. Cool. Now, from DC Comics, we're moving into Batman Adventures. Read me this. Ugh, Uncanny Omar Talk Pretty one day. Read me this. And that is the comic book that's based on the cartoon. Batman Kings of Fear is coming out in trade paperback format as well as Batman Who Laughs is coming out in trade paperback format. Dark Knight's The Death Metal Deluxe Edition is coming out that same week. No sign of any omnibus for the DC Metal or Dark Knight's Death Metal coming out. Dear DC Supervillains, it looks like a cute little book, uh, is coming out that, that week. And we are finally getting Event Leviathan in trade paperback format. I think it's been a year since the standard edition hardcover came up. Superman's Greatest Team-Ups is coming out that same week. It's a hardcover edition, and I believe this is a standard size hardcover based on the price. Now, from the world of manga, we have Chainsaw Man, number four. Really enjoying that series. I know it's over in Japan, Japan. but here in America, it is continuing. Then we are getting Dr. Stone. And Dr. Stone, Volume 16, continuing that new manga. Uh, also getting My Hero Academia, Volume 27. Man, that series is just kicking all kinds of ass and keeps selling well. And 
Also, One Piece. Speaking of selling well, my gosh, One Piece 96. We're about to hit the 100th issue. That's insane. Remember when that first started in uh, the Shonen Jump anthology that they brought over here to America? Sadly, that was that line was discontinued. And then, Glape Nip Nipir. What the heck? Why did I put this? Oh, that cover is interesting. Glip Nipir? My, I'm so mispronouncing that. It's a pretty interesting cover, though. Uh, as far as other publishers, we have Inkblot from Image Comics. Looks pretty interesting. This is Emma Kubert and Rusty Glad. And the artwork is Emma Kubert and Rusty Glad. So it looks interesting. I have no idea what it's about. Rat Queens continues in trade paperback format with God Dilemma. Collecting Rat Queens 21 through 25. And then it looks like we're getting a Avatar Last Airbender Omnibus from Dark Horse Comics. But those are usually in trade paperback format. Complete Emily. The Strange, All Things Strange, is getting a second edition. The hardcover is. Uh, and then we're getting Shaolin Cowboy Shep Buffet. World of Black Hammer. This is one of those books I was talking about. It's already been out in the book market. The direct market just keeps getting pushed back. I don't know what's going on with Dark Horse. I've emailed my contact at Dark Horse about a few books and... She's trying to find out what's going on, why the direct market isn't getting copies. So people that have pre-ordered books are getting cancellation notices from the direct market. But World of Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 2 is set to come out today. All right, I've had a copy for a couple of weeks uh, because I know Cheap Graphic Novels gets books from outside of the direct market. EC Archives Shock Illustrated Hardcover is coming out that same week. Dracula Vlad the Impaler. Any Dracula story I enjoy, unless they're, you know, sparkling. Shadow of a Man, that looks pretty interesting. And then, from IDW, we have Usagi Yojimbo Origins Trade Paperback Volume 1. And that is, <laughs> it's Volume 1, and this is pretty interesting because Fanagraphics owns the first seven stories of Usagi Yojimbo. And then, Dark Horse owns the following saga the all, all the other books the ones that are collected in in the hardcovers and the softcover format but the colored versions are owned by idw they own the copyrights to that so they're releasing usagi ojimbo origins volume one when uh, it's so interesting how copyrights work but anyway that's coming out from idw as well as firefly unification war trade paperback volume two Seven Secrets Trade Paperback Volume 1 is coming out that same week. Gorilla Green or Original Graphic Novel Softcover Edition is coming out that week. And Shadow Service Trade Paperback Volume 1. And to wrap up that week, we have the Asterix Omnibus uh, from Paper Cuts. Both the hardcover and the softcover are coming out the very same week. For the second week of April, the week of April 14th, from Marvel Comics, we have the Disney Kingdom's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This is another series of graphic novels for kids, collecting the Thunder Mountain Railroad 1 through 5 and Enchanted Tiki Room 1 through 5. We also have Immortal Hulk by Alex Ross poster book. Alex Ross has been working on the covers to Immortal Hulk and... They're gorgeous, so they're releasing it in a poster book format. Uh, in The Incredible Hercules, this is another series that I thought they had dropped, and this is the complete collection. It's getting a volume two collecting The Incredible Hercules 121 through 137, so I'm glad that they brought that back. From the Marvel Masterworks uh, era, we have The Black Panther volume three, and Marvel Masterworks always has a direct market cover and a standard edition cover. Both of those will be released on that same day. Uh, Namor is getting his very first epic collection. So Namor the Submariner, Volume 1, Enter the Submariner. So collecting issues of Fantastic Four with his early appearances, Avengers uh, with his early appearances, X-Men and Daredevil. And then we have a lot of Tales to Astonish and Strange Tales. Well, one issue of Strange Tales 107 in there. And to wrap up that week for Marvel, we have the X-Men Avengers Onslaught trade paperback volume 3, wrapping up the story of Onslaught in the Marvel Universe in trade paperback format. 
So, from DC Comics, we have The Amazing World of Superman, the tabloid edition. This is a, a bigger trim size, and it is in hardcover format. Batman, A Death in the Family, is finally getting its deluxe edition coming out that week. So this collects Batman 426 uh, to 429, which is A Death in the Family. Remember that 900 number we called? Need my 75 cents back DC. And then it also has A Lonely Place of Dying, which is sort of the follow-up to, uh, to that, but introduces us to a new Robin. And that collects Batman 440 to 442, and then New Teen Titans 60 through 61 in deluxe hardcover format. Harley Quinn... Trade Paperback Volume 5 is coming out, Hollywood or Die. Legion of Superheroes Trade Paperback Volume 2, Trial of the Legion. This is the newer uh, series by Brian Michael Bendis. And then New Gods Book 1 Bloodlines is coming out that very week. And that one's pretty interesting because I this is something that I've not read and I didn't even know it was on my radar uh, until somebody was asking me about it in the comment section if I was going to pick it up. So this is the era from like 1989 to 1990. And it's all based on Jack Kirby's fourth world. Uh, Mark Evanier is the main creator behind this, but it takes up, it picks up after the events of the cosmic odyssey. And this is, I have never read this era of new gods, but this collects the new gods one through 14 from that era. And then we're getting a big omnibus, the Who's Who Omnibus Volume 1. So, this is a pretty big book. It's 1,320 pages. So, it's like the Marvel Handbook uh, Guide to the Marvel Universe. So, it, it has the synopsis of the characters, who they are, where they first appeared, and the bios of all of them. And it's it's a pretty big, big book because we have the DC Universe, the definitive directory of the DC Universe 1 through 26, and then the updates from 87 and 88, the five-issue miniseries and the four-issue miniseries. So all the annuals from 1989 as well. It's a pretty big book. Um, as far as manga, we have Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 3. My wonderful wife, uh, for my birthday, read half a blade of the immortal and she, well you can watch that episode i'll put a link in the description uh call of the night i put that in here it looks like a pretty interesting series and that is called the night uh volume one is coming out that week uh, we also have case closed volume 78 my goodness 78 volumes this is another on long ongoing series pokemon adventures the collector's edition volume seven of course i have to pick that up for my kid Shaman King, Omnibus Volume 2. I need to get the first volume. I need to see if the... Well, I don't have... I sold my original ones because I couldn't find a couple of them. So I need to pick them up in that format. And then Sailor Moon is getting another type of collection in the Naoko Takeuchi Collection Volume 1. Battle Angel Alita, Mars Chronicles Volume 7 is coming out from Kodansha. And apparently this might be the final chapter, I think. I don't know. I haven't even been keeping up with Alita, sadly. Not after Last Order. From other publishers, we have the Department H Omnibus Trade Paperback Volume 2, the Compressed and Lifeboat. Again, those are the soft cover editions. Finder Volume 1, Voice. The Complete Witchblade Volume 2 is coming out, both in hardcover edition and in softcover edition. Another series that a lot of people pre ordered and they were getting uh, pre order cancellations. Or their books haven't shown up yet with Darkness Volume 1. So I don't know what's going on with Diamond. And I mean, we obviously know that Marvel was leaving Diamond to go to Penguin Random House for the direct market. But I don't know what's happening there lately. It seems like they're not getting books from Image and not a lot of books from Dark Horse. But that's one that that Witchblade reminded me of was the Darkness uh, so speaking of Image, the comp uh, Criminal Deluxe Edition Volumes 1 and Volumes 2 from Image Comics are both scheduled to come out that very same week. Norway Trade Paperback Volume 2 is coming out that week, and that is Queen on High Mountain. I know nothing about that series. I just added it on here because it looks interesting. This is an image title from Cat Seaton, and Kit Seaton is the artist. I just like that cover. I don't know what the heck's going on with that bird. What kind of amulet? Is that amulet giving powers? Anyway, 
Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Trade Paperback Volume 5 is coming out from Boom Comics. As well as Wicked Things, the trade paperback. Wind, uh, this I believe is the James Tinian, yeah it is the James Tinian series, is getting a hardcover edition, Flight of the Prince. And G.I. Joe, trade paperback volume one, World on Fire. And I get that Akira vibe from that cover. Oh, I can't, I can't be the only one, right? And we're getting the Phantom Complete Sundays hardcover, volume nine, 1966 to 1970. Riverdale ties that bind, so that still I think that's based on the TV show, maybe vice versa. I watched one episode of the TV show and it was just, uh, just not for me. And Robin Hood Vigilante, yowza! Who is this Robin? That ain't Kevin Costner. All right, <laughs> moving on to the week of April twenty-first from Marvel Comics, we have Black Widow by Kelly Thompson, trade paperback volume one. The ties that bind, collecting the five, uh, the first five issues from the 2020 series, and it's I read the first two issues, loved it, so I can't wait to get this in trade paperback format. Captain Marvel trade paperback volume five. Speaking of Kelly Thompson, another Kelly Thompson book, collecting issues 22 through 26 of Captain Marvel. Dawn of X volume 15. That cover may not be finalized could change as well as the content so let's not even talk about the content because uh, they're wrong a lot of the time um deadpool this is a series that i just announced the epic collection so i'm wondering if they're going to continue this but this is the joe kelly complete collection volume two we had one come out in 2019 i think so it's been a little while since volume one but they are continuing the series in complete collection format collecting issues 12 through 20 and issue number zero as well as the annual from the 1997 series man thing by steve gerber another complete collection uh a lot of people thought uh thought marvel forgot about but this goes i think further out yeah because it collects the infernal man thing one two and three so it goes past the omnibus in case you have that so you got stuff in here from jim mooney um arthur adams supplying that beautiful cover and then you have steve gerber of course on writing and marvel masterworks thor volume 20 is coming out that week so we are in the past the issue 300 i think uh let's see yes issue 303 to 314 and annual number nine so you have mark grunewald stuff in here uh ralph macchio doug minch um, and then you have artwork by Alan Cooperberg, Rick Leonardi, Luke McDonald, just to name a few. Man, they're cranking those out. Spider-Man, I know it doesn't feel like it for a lot of the masterwork collectors. Uh, Spider-Man by Roger Stern Omnibus. I've done an overview of that recently, and this is the week that it comes out. Both the direct market cover and their standard edition cover will be out that week. To me, my favorite run on Spider-Man, of course. Man, what a, this is a big week. Thunderbolts Omnibus Volume 1. I've done an overview of this as well. If you're interested at all, I did a spoiler section and then a non-spoilery section to talk about the wonderful run that is Thunderbolts. And then X-Factor. This is a book that was supposed to re be released, I think, in January, but it is finally coming out. X-Factor Epic Collection Trade Paperback Angel of Death. So, this collects issues 21 through 36. So, The Fallen Mutants with our introduction of Archangel. Hence the title, Angel of Death, Annual Number 3, and Power Pack Number 35. And from DC Comics, we have Batman Creature of the Night. Solid. Um, trade paperback coming out. Dark Knight's Death Metal. Darkest Night. It's Night with a K. Trade paperback. And then the biggie. Flashpoint 10th Anniversary Omnibus. This is a huge book. Collecting Flashpoint, the five issues. Keep in mind, Flash, Flashpoint was only five issues. Uh, it's, but it's got the tie-ins with The Flash, 9 through 12. I wish they had collected that whole series, but whatever. Including, maybe they'll do a Flash by Jeff Johns, Volume 3. Maybe DC will surprise me. That would be amazing. Um, Flashpoint, Reverse Flash. It's got all the mini-series like Green Lantern, Batman, Deathstroke, and the Curse of the Ravager, Lois Lane and the Resistance. So it's this alternate reality. So think of Age of Apocalypse in case you've never read this. And then there's so many heroes and characters that play a big part in this, and they all have their own mini-series. Frankenstein, the Creatures of the Unknown, 1, 2, 3. 
damn, that series was fun and very underrated. But, uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, it's finally coming out. It was originally due out in January, and then they pushed it back to April. Wonder Woman Trade Paperback Volume 4 for Horsewomen. Manga, we have this awesome looking co uh, collection. It's the 5 centimeters per second and the children who chase um, lost voices all in one book. So, that's awesome. Asadora is getting a second volume. My wife reviewed the first one. She's a big fan of that. Uh, Blue Giant is coming out that week. Blue Giant uh, Omnibus and it's got three and four in there. Cirque the Freak the manga volume two this is based on a books the young adult book series i had no idea about but it's coming out and uh this is from yen press they were kind enough to send us a volume one of that and cut captor sakura the clear card graphic novel volume nine not the hardcover editions of the classic stuff love sickness the junji ito story collection so another junji ito story collection in hardcover format awesome awesome uh sex ed 120 percent what the hell why did i add that in is it because of the name i'm am i that immature I can't be that immature i probably am um but 120 what is what's 120 i only took sex ed class at 100 percent Ooh, Super Sentai is getting a classic collection. This is from Seven Seas, and that's awesome. Super Sentai is what the um, Power Rangers are based on. And, and so if you've watched Power Rangers, the Super Sentai series is what was coming out in Japan. And this is the Go Ranger series, the classic collection. I had no idea that these were... Uh, coming out at all so very awesome of seven seas to be releasing these now uh, we're also getting from other uh, publishers the battle chasers anthology trade paperback which i thought was already out so i but i don't know what's going on with that i thought that trade paperback had already come out if it got delayed i didn't know about that um Die, 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 Trade Paperback Volume 2, continuing that series. Okay, so here's the book that I was uh, talking about earlier. Usagi Yojimbo Saga Volume 9. I have no idea what the hell's going on with this book. So, um, I emailed my contact at Dark Horse, and she's trying to figure out what's going on. The direct market, so Diamond, got a couple of copies. And I mean by a couple of copies, I mean a couple of copies. So people that... Uh, that pre-ordered them so a couple of the people got them and that's it um it's not scheduled to come out until this day though so i don't know how the direct market diamond again let go of a few copies of that both the hardcover edition and the softcover edition I, it, this might be one of those cases where dark horse just did not print enough copies i don't know but that's something i look forward to so I gotta find a way to get it. So just in case, if you have it pre-ordered, use a backup, local comic book shop or or another place that you normally don't order from. From I hate for anybody to miss out on that book, anybody to miss out on any book. Honestly, the uh, Critical Role Vox Machina Origins Library Edition Volume One is coming out that day. And see, that's another one that I thought was out. Maybe this is another printing. It's not an expanded printing or anything. Hard Melody is coming out that day, and that is a hardcover. And we're also getting, let's see, Heavy, Trade Paperback, Volume 1. And Villainous, Volume 1. Villainous looks pretty interesting. It's written by Stoney Williams and drawn by Jefferson Sedinsky. And it collects uh, five issues. This is from Mad Cave Studios. And they're, they're starting a kid line, too. And I'll be having uh, one of the creators of Battle Cats on my show for an interview. Uh, I believe it's April 16th is when we have that scheduled. So really excited to talk to the creators behind those books. All right, moving on to the last week of April. So we are looking at April 28th. From Marvel Comics, we have all new Wolverine. Yes, that's one of my most wanted Omnis. Uh, it's... The book that made me a fan of not just Laura but also Deken 
I became a fan of the can as well. Uh, he, I just never really liked that character, but so glad that it's it's finally coming out. Tom Taylor's book, and big fan of that series. Champions Graphic Novels World Collide. This is volume two of that series, if I'm not mistaken. Collecting issues 13 through 18, and then Avengers 672 to 674. Uh, so this is the Umberto Ramos and Mark Waite series. And it's in graphic novel format, so uh, the smaller kid size books. Immortal Hulk. Uh, hardcover, collecting issues 21 through 30, and volume 3 of that series, continuing that wonderful run of Immortal Hulk. Marvel Snapshots is getting a hardcover edition, and then we're getting Untold Tales of Spider-Man Omnibus. Oh, this is, this is an underdog of a series. This kicked off as, what was it, the 99 cent Spider-Man Adventures? Um, so this collects Amazing Fantasy 16 through 18. This is the 1995 series. And then uh, Until Tales of Spider-Man 1 through 25, um, the minus one issue. So these were stories that were written uh, during the 90s by Kurt Busiek. So I should tell you uh, how great they are. Pat O'Leaf supplying the artwork. But they were, taken, they were supposed to take place in the 60s when, when the original Amazing Spider-Man stories were coming out. So I'll be doing an advanced overview of that sometime soon. So keep an eye on the channel. Both covers are out that week. And then we're getting a new printing of Wolverine Epic Collection Volume 1, Madripoor Knights, collecting issues 1 through 16 of uh, Wolverine, as well as Marvel Comics Presents 1 through 10, which sets up Madripoor and all the other characters that are show up in that series ongoing series all right from dc comics we have batman superman uh hardcover volume two world's deadliest and then we have the deceased dead planet hardcover again standard edition hardcover another tom taylor book and it it's, I think this is the third one in that series. Hopefully we'll get some kind of oversized hardcover collection of that series. But now let's talk about Tower of Babel, Deluxe Edition. So, uh, when I did the omnibus overview of JLA, or when I, when I first announced that book, I talked about orphaned issues. And orphaned issues are issues that are left out of collections. I hate when that happens. It's a big pet peeve of mine because I think, and this is just my personal opinion, we're living in a time when nothing should be left out of a book. Because I like to think that at one point we're going to have everything in collected edition on a bookshelf without leaving things out. So I'm not the biggest fan of creator-centric books. So when they left out all the Mark Wade issues, um, and the Dan Johnson issue, I, I thought, oh man, this is bad. I hope they make a Mark Waid omnibus, but they didn't. Instead, they decided to make a Tower of Babel, which is one of the greatest JLA stories ever. Um, and they made it into a deluxe edition. So this collects JLA 18 through 21, uh, 32 through 33, and 43 through 46 as well as the JLA Secret Files number three. So what does that mean? Is there, hey, these are the missing issues. Yes, those are the missing issues. However, not that it's a big deal, but maybe just to me, issue 42 is still missing, and that is the Dan Johnson issue, and I think that's the one with the Atom. So, um, yeah, that's a... Uh that's not a big deal, but hey, it, it, it's, <laughs> as a completist, I think I would love for them to have included that. And I'm sure we're going to get another follow-up. I hope we get another follow-up, rather, of that series. Uh, John Constantine, Hellblazer, or Hellblazer, Rise and Fall. Uh, another Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor is getting a lot of love uh, this week. And that is in hardcover format, collecting the, I think it was... This is the one with Derek Robertson, if I'm not mistaken, series. Yeah. So it's a mini series uh, with Derek Robertson. It's part of the DC Black Label line. So it's as close to Vertigo as we're going to get. And then we're getting the Suicide Squad Bad Blood hardcover format. I think this is the first nine issues. Another Tom Taylor book and in hardcover format. And I believe this Deceased and John Constantine will all be in standard edition format. All right, uh, as far as manga, we're getting Attack on Titan, Volume 33, getting close to that, uh, finding out what's in the basement, 
Actually, I, I haven't read that in a long time. I'm getting the the big size editions, and I really hope they don't stop collecting those. Fairy Tale, like they did with Fairy Tale, uh, Box Set Volume Four comes out that week. Awesome. Gantt Omnibus Volume Six. I'm so glad to see that from Dark Horse. I was afraid that they were going to cancel that line. Parallel Paradise Volume Volume Five. So it's coming out that week. What? What's that about? That what's a uh, that a fantasy? Fantasy story? Fantasy story? Alright, in case you've read it. Sailor Moon Eternal Edition, codename Sailor V, Volume 2. That's really exciting because I think that wraps up all of Sailor Moon in the Eternal Edition format. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're picking that up. I'm hoping they'll release it in a box set or some kind of hardcover format. I don't know, it's Kadansha that owns the rights now. But let me know if you're picking them up, like what the paper quality is like, if they do have the colored pages. And as far as other publishers, we have, man, a book I've been <laughs> wanting to get for a long time from Fanagraphics, and it is finally, knock on wood, coming out that week. And that is, what? Barry Windsor Smith's Monsters. Holy crap, this has been a long time coming. I want to say this was supposed to be released in January. Um, but anyway, I know it's a long time coming for the man because it took 35 years for this book to get finally see print, but it is finally scheduled for April 28th, knock on wood. Commanders in Crisis Volume 1 is coming out that same week, and I have no idea what that's about, but this is a book from Image Comics, and it's about a multiverse, I don't know, Steve Orlando writing it though, alright, Friend of the Devil hardcover edition so this is a reckless storyline and i'm not sure it's a hardcover but i'm not sure if it's standard well it has to be standard edition just based on that price of 24 dollars 99 yeah so gideon falls is getting a trade paperback and i believe that wraps up gideon falls that is volume six and then we're getting a hardcover later on this year hack and slash speaking of hardcover deluxe edition volume one is coming out now this, much like Witchblade and Darkness, were originally a uh, Kickstarter. So this is Tim Seeley's book. Uh, Stefano Caselli is, does a lot of the artwork in here. But it collects Euthanized, Girls Gone Dead, Comic Book Carnage, Land of the Lost Toys 1, 2, and 3, Trailers, and the Slice Hand prequel, and Slice Heart. Oh, Slice Heart, not Slice Hand. And then the crossover with Chucky and Evil Ernie. Damn, that is just about everything. I don't know how many there's going to be. But this is volume one of the deluxe edition. Um, let's just see. You know, I, I may give it another try. I, I remember trying to read that and I was not into it that much. Redneck, volume five. I'm happy to see Donny Kate's book still coming out uh, from his independent. Uh, baby Teeth, man. Where's that at, Donny Kate? We need some more Baby Teeth. So this is uh, Vampires. And written by Donny Kate's. I think it's Lisandro Esterer. Esterer, I believe, is who the artist is. Tartarus Volume 2 is coming out that same week, as well as Bandette Trade Paperback Volume 3, The House of the Green Mask. That looks interesting. Static Trade Paperback is coming out that same week from Dark Horse Comics. And Cold Dead Hands. I don't know what this is about. Love that cover, though. It's a beautiful cover. Very detailed. Sonic the Hedgehog, bad guys, all right, trade paperback coming out from IDW. And we also have Steve Canyon, uh, hardcover, volume 11, coming out 1967 to 1968. Usagi Jimbo volume 2, Homecoming. This is another IDW series um, of his new series uh, from um, IDW. So confusing. Uh, maybe I need to do a reading order of um, Usagi Ojimbo. And then we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer Legacy Edition. So collecting uh, the classic issues from Dark Horse Comics. Trade Paperback Volume 4. Red Mother is coming out with a Trade Paperback Volume 3. And this is from Boom Entertainment. Jeremy Hahn, Danny Luckert. And collecting Red Mother 9 through 12. Um, Goon, bunch of old crap, trade paperback volume 5. So, again, this is um, his own imprint. And 
collecting Goon Volumes 13 through 15 and Goon Noir. So collecting stuff that has been previously collected from Dark Horse Comics. But this being his new imprint is where you will see later books um, that were not published by Dark Horse be collected. Silver Age Classic Kona Mon Monarch Monster Isle. Man, that's a mouthful. Hardcover and the slipcase coming out. Uh, that's a volume two silver age classic mysteries of unexplored worlds hardcover and slipcase volume one both of those are coming out that same day please in the comments let me know if you get any of those i don't think i've met anyone that has commented on my videos that actually gets those books but if you are please by all means let me know in the comments down below sirens of the north sea man that looks beautiful that is a humanoid book Humanoids book, but this is the trade paperback format. I don't know if there was a hardcover format released. And Humanoids does a lot of, they do a lot of books and translate them. Um, most of these released in Europe, but this looks gorgeous. Just that cover. If the inside is anything like that, I'm in. And I need to see if there's a hardcover format. Mental note, Uncanny Omar. Stargazer, trade paperback coming out that week from Mad Cave Studios. Uh, collecting issues one through six of that series and Street Fighter 5 hardcover volume one collecting the Street Fighter 5 the um, this is from Udon Studios and this is another hardcover format Champions Rising so oh man hell yes you all know I love the, that series and to wrap up the month of April from Dynamite Vengeance of Vampirella, Trade Paperback Volume 1, Rebirth. That is one bloody looking cover. Now, when these books come out, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price, Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And those were all the books coming out in March. Like I said, please keep in mind, there may be delays. Sometimes schedules change a lot of things. And then sometimes the book market gets books earlier before the direct market. I'm not sure what's going on. You know, there's a shift in, ch ch there's changes happening at Diamond, so... Uh, let, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and hopefully some of these books will be coming out from them uh don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet let me know what you're excited about don't forget i'm also going to be doing my top 10 must buys essential buys for the month of april that'll be a separate video coming out sometime so that's it don't forget to check out our spread shop seriously it's a great way to support the channel stickers mugs whatever we have different uh different logos that we created uh, different things that are inside jokes here at near mint condition my wife put all that together so big thanks to the astonishing melanie and patreon yes uh, if you want to join our patreon that link is in the description of this video as well as the link to the spread shop it's a great way to support the channel we have five different tiers with uh, different reward systems for our patrons and thank you to our existing patrons and more importantly please everybody stay healthy stay safe much love.